Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the two-stage film canister rocket. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a film canister, water, Alka-Seltzer, tablespoon, and goggles. So to set up this experiment, you need Alka-Seltzer. You just get that in any pharmacy or drugstore. Uh, the film canisters, I believe the 35 millimeter clear ones work better than the black ones. I have a link in the description where I bought mine at, so you could get those too. What we're gonna do is, to make a dual, um, you need to glue, I'm using a hot glue gun, and you glue the top of the lid onto one of the bottom of the lids like this. So it ends up looking like this, and then it'll just clamp on um, to the other one. Uh, this hence being the uh, two-stage rocket. So we have one stage engine and another stage. It doesn't quite work the same way as a rocket, but I'm not a rocket scientist, so it doesn't have to be exact. And then you have your other lids. So basically what you're going to do is is you're going to take um, your Alka-Seltzer tablet. Um, I cut mine in half. You could do different portions. Um, and I'm going to put one in each uh, of the canisters. So you cut it in half. Be very careful. And then um, you're going to fill each canister with one tablespoon of water. So just regular tap water. So you go ahead and fill that up, one tablespoon. Now, um, I tried this experiment well over 30 times, and I only got it to work uh, one time. So don't get disappointed if it doesn't work. It was my hardest experiment yet. So you fill both of these up. Um, you have to get the exact science down because you want one to pop first, the bottom one, and then the other one pop afterwards. So it's, so it's very difficult to get them to pop at the same time. I'm using the same amount of water. And then I'm going to drop in um, for this simulation. I'm going to show you here without putting the tablets in because I don't want to waste it. I'm going to put a tablet in that, uh, the bottom one. Close it. Seal it hot, tight. Put another one in the top one. And then seal it and flip it over. And it should take off in about 8 to 10 seconds. So the pressure is going to build up and it's going to take off. And I'll tell you about the science about that in just a bit. So I spray painted one of them gold. I'm going to do a single engine rocket here. You just put your half tablet in, one tablespoon, and blast off. Boom. There it goes. That one didn't go that high. For some reason, with the painted ones, they don't go as high. So I started using the clear ones. They definitely go a lot higher. Um, you put it in. Uh close it you want to be kind of quick at it not too quick and then a single blast off and there it goes a little bit slow motion there so you can see it all right so now we're going to do the dual stage we take the first uh tablet put it on the bottom which is actually the top the second one on the top which is the bottom flip it over it's going to start building pressure up and we got about two seconds and one blast off slow motion you can see it going i've got another camera angle where i'm going to show you it going up a little bit different angle and here we go now of the other angle it's in slow motion so it's taking off the first engine's uh taking off and it, it's not really going as straight as we want so i'm sure nasa would be a little upset with this trajectory but as we get to the top the second engine shoots off the second stage and it's going higher it's not going to make it to space but it is definitely going to travel across my yard in an angle uh this is the only time I was able to get it to work. So just don't get too frustrated on the double stage uh, rocket because the timing of the same amount of water and the tablet size and the speed of turning it over all comes in play on getting this to go. And, you know, I am not a rocket scientist, but though I feel like one after the successful launch. So we're going to watch it one more time, a little slower, um, and I'm going to explain the science behind it. So the water dissolves the Alka-Seltzer tablet and it starts a chemical reaction, which produces carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide starts to build up and increases the pressure inside the film canister until eventually the cap is forced off and the rocket blasts up, as we saw, right? So this system thrust is exactly how real rockets work and they only use rocket fuel instead of an Alka-Seltzer tablet because it would probably cost them too much for the Alka-Seltzer tablets and it wouldn't go as high. So we have the first stage take off and that's because I put the tablet in first which was the top part but it seemed like the top but it ended up being the bottom. That started the chemical reaction first and then I put the second tablet in on which looked like the bottom but I flipped it over it's the top. So there it goes. It gives you that um, a little bit of delay reaction by putting one tablet sealing it and then putting the other tablet and sealing it and flipping it over was just enough time. That's the t crucial timing 
that you need to be able to get that uh, second uh, stage uh, booster to kick off or the engine to kick off and go. So um, it was pretty impressive. I'm very, very happy. I did not think I was going to get the two stage going. I've done one stage rockets many, many times, um, always successful. Uh, but the two stage was very nice. I wish I could have duplicated it again. But um, I ran out of Alka-Seltzer tablets, so next time I'll give it a shot. If you're able to do two-stage or a three-stage, if you're really good, uh, put in the comments and let me know. I'd love to hear about that. A couple successful tips, too, is when you're putting the tops on, right, make sure they're tightly fit. Just don't put them halfway on. It'll fizz out, and it won't get the, the pressure built up like it should be. So make sure each lid is put on very, very tight and um, that will help uh, the, each rocket take off a lot higher. Go ahead and play around too. If you crush up the Alka-Seltzer tablet, be very quick. It could be done in two or three seconds, it could take off. So that's a factor too, where I have it whole, it takes a little more time. Here are some of my um, unsuccessful attempts. There's a one, the top rocket went first, and then the second rocket. This time um, it goes, uh, the top rocket and the bottom rocket laid down and fell down. Another fail attempt. And then this one again is shot before I was ready. And then the bottom one again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up or share. And thanks for watching.